Hey all, welcome back to Thessian Ma'am Science Class. Today, let's learn displacement reactions. It is one among the four types of reactions that are commonly seen in chemistry. In simple words, displacement reaction is a chemical reaction where a more reactive element displaces a less reactive one from its compound. Both metals and non-metals can take part in a displacement reaction. Dear students, if you are still confused about it, let's learn it with the help of a simple and easy example. I guess most of you will be familiar with the famous cartoon series Pokemon. And do you remember those characters Ash, Misty and Pikachu? Now don't wonder what are they doing in your chemistry lesson. Let's learn displacement reaction with the help of these characters. If you look at your screen carefully now, you will find the three characters on your screen Ash, Misty and Pikachu. You will also find that in the Ash Misty pair, Misty is replaced by Pikachu. This replacement of Misty by Pikachu was possible only because of the high influence that Pikachu had on Ash. Now, this scenario is very much similar to a displacement reaction which takes place in chemistry. In a displacement reaction, a high reactive element replaces a less reactive one from its compound. For example, when a highly reactive element A reacts with BC, the resulting compound is AC and B. This happens because B is less reactive than A. Thus, A replaces B in the compound. Let's now quickly do an experiment. We will start by preparing a solution of copper sulfate from the copper sulfate crystals. Let's do it in a beaker. The resulting solution is a blue colored one as you see on your screen. As the next step, let's dip an iron nail into this solution and keep it aside for some time. And now dear students, can you guess the result of this experiment? We will find that the blue colored solution has now turned green. Also the iron nail which was shiny and sparkling in the beginning now appears to be dull. The nail has acquired some coating over it which looks brownish black in color. From this experiment, it can be inferred that the copper in the copper sulfate solution is replaced by ion from the iron nail. This is the very reason why the solution appears green colored now. And hence, this is one of the most easiest way to study a displacement reaction. The chemical equation for this interesting reaction goes as it's seen on the screen. Let's now check on another experiment. Here let's take iron sulfate solution which is green in color in a beaker. Now we add a few copper turnings into this solution and keep it aside for some time. We find that the color of this solution does not change even if we wait for a long time. Hence we conclude that no reaction occurs in this experiment. The reason for this being the fact that copper is less reactive than ion, it cannot displace ion from its solution. This experiment clearly tells us that a less reactive metal can never replace a more reactive one from its solution. As we conclude this topic today, let's recall that only a more reactive element can displace a less reactive one from its solution. This procedure is commonly used in steel making, in thermite welding and in electroplating. There are also double displacement reactions where two displacements take place. And that's all for today's class. Thank you for watching.